Hey, I'm Josh Clark and this is Brain Stuff. And this is the Brain Stuff where I explain to you how gun silencers work. If you've ever seen a cloak and dagger type spy movie or a movie with a hitman or something, you might have seen them like put the little barrel extender under the gun and then sneak up behind somebody and shoot them and it made a cool sound like which is a pretty great silencer impression, if I do say so myself. If you wondered what was going on, or you're a hitman looking to keep your arms quieter, I'm going to explain to you how a silencer works. We should probably start off by pointing out that they're not actually called silencers. That's what people who don't know what they're talking about call them. They're called suppressors, and for good reason. It's virtually impossible to fully silence a gun, because guns are loud, and they're loud three different ways. The whole loudness starts when the hammer hits the firing pit. It makes a nice metallic sound, which isn't too loud, but it's still a sound nonetheless, and it's one of three. When that firing pin hits, it ignites the gunpowder located in the shell, which explodes. It explodes into gas, pressurized gas, at about 3,000 pounds per square inch. That forcefully pushes the bullet out the end of the barrel and makes quite a bit of sound, like kind of a deadly champagne cork popping as the bullet comes out. That's sound number two, and that's what silencers, I mean suppressors, seek to keep down. And they do it by extending the barrel and fattening the barrel. What this does is it takes those gases that are coming out of the gun at 3,000 pounds per square inch and gives them room to expand inside the silencer, suppressor, or as some people who you probably don't want to associate with call cans, right? Now when this gas expands, it loses some of that pressure and it decreases from 3,000 pounds per square inch to about 60 when it comes out the end of the silencer. Now without a silencer, those explosive gases produce a sound at about 160 decibels, which by the way, is about the point where your hearing tissue dies. Once it dies, it doesn't come back. So 160 decibels is loud, ear crushingly loud. When you have a suppressor on the end, it drops those decibels down to about 20, which is about the sound of a very quiet whisper in a quiet library heard from six feet away, also known as yeah, there's a third sound though that a silencer can't do anything about. You know when a plane flies overhead and it reaches the supersonic threshold and it creates a sonic boom? Bullets do that too, except instead of a sonic boom, it's called a ballistic crack. But at any rate, it reaches the sonic threshold when the bullet hits the velocity of 1100 feet per second, which is fast. So, to prevent this ballistic crack from taking place, some manufacturers produce ammunition that have bullets that travel at less than 1100 feet per second. They still move pretty fast, but not fast enough to create that little sonic boom. Hence, the third sound is then dampened. So, if you have a pretty good silencer and ammunition that shoots bullets out at less than 1100 feet per second, what you're left with is a 20 decibel explosion and just a little hammer clicking. Believe it or not, there are some downsides to all this. While you will look cooler, like uh, Javier Bardem in No Country for Old Men, who had a silencer on the end of his shotgun, and which made his character like 80 times scarier, you're going to be giving up a little bit of uh, power and a little bit of accuracy, plus, you can still hear a bullet, no matter how silent you make a gun, if you're the one being shot at, because it makes a horribly terrifying, unnerving, zipping sound while it's coming at you. Believe me, I've been in a ton of firefights, and I know what Man, I'm talking about. Man, this is about. boring. I am such a windbag. All I want to do these days is shave. Ever since I went to harrys.com and got a handle, three blades, and shaving cream shipped to my door for 15 bucks, I just want to shave all the time. And now, with this promo code of brain stuff, Anybody can get $5 off of their first purchase at harrys.com. You really can shave all the time for that kind of money. It's like nothing. I gotta get back to this video. I gotta concentrate. So that's gun silencers. If you're one of those people who likes to talk about guns and silencers and that kind of thing, leave some comments in the comment section below. And maybe subscribe. Well, it won't kill you. Someone with a silencer might, but subscribing to our YouTube channel definitely will not. As a matter of fact, it will improve your life.